and his pen and a bunch of cards. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, live with me. Hi, Aaron. Mate, people love our video. That's great, Aaron. You're a good geezer. Let's do, uh, let's do more of them. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, so, weeks of promo are taking their toll. As you can see, I, I look very middle-aged tonight. <laughs> but it has all been worth it. And I have been loving it. Now, I'm signing these now. Christmas cards, which you know, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from me. Oh, look at that, look at that fella. Is that still me? <laughs> I'd, I'd put that up against... Yeah, I'm going to put a filter on you. Uh, let's do it. Have a great Christmas. Number one album. Yes. Thanks, mate. Um, so I'm... Uh, signing more shit, man. More shit to be signed. Hey, I've got some... I've got some news. Some stunning news. Well, you know the news. I'm going to tell them. Uh, the podcast that we've done for Apple Music is number two in the podcast charts. How amazing is that? Yeah. So listen, if you want something for free, I know just the thing. Go to Apple Music and check out uh, my podcast. Uh, our podcast. It says the Does it really? It says the Our podcast. <laughs> Check out. So that podcast I did yesterday with you and a couple of our friends. That's my podcast. Why is that your podcast? It's called Postcards from Heaven. It's, it's, it's my own podcast. You, you're on it. I'll, I'll give you credit. Yeah. But you're not in all of them. Yeah. Well, you're not going to be in all of mine. <laughs> You're off, Sam. How's that? Uh, the Williams. The Williams. <laughs> the capital letters. Williams. Yeah. As opposed to Williams's. Yeah. So it'll be at home with the Williams. Hey guys, so what do you think? Okay, this is what's happening. The album's out. Christmas present. Available at robbywilliams.com. And now I'm signing these. Because. I want my album to do really, really well, basically. And I'm competitive and ambitious. Um, so I'm signing these and you can get like a bundle of stuff at RobbieWilliams.com with me signing stuff and the album. Yeah. Plus I think you secretly really enjoy doing this at night. It's kind of like your thing that you like to do at night. Do you know what? It is. It's like my hobby. And my uh, brother-in-law Dylan, who is here, Family affair, we've got, don't forget, I mean, uh, these kids can't see us because the camera's directly at you, but. Can you show got, that door? We've got, yeah. Oh, yeah, can you show that door, please? Um, we've got Nanny Gwen. Hi. Nanny Gwen's boyfriend, Ian. Should and we all shout out? Let's all go around for one second. Yeah, Nanny and Nanny introduce. So everyone knows that we are actually here. So, Ian, come on. Uh, Uncle Dylan, come on. New dad. <laughs> we've got a here. new dad. New dad, new dad. Wife, current wife. <laughs> Favorite first husband. New dad. This is new dad. This is mom's. This is mom's boyfriend, Ian. Hi. There's this mom. Is, this is Uncle Dylan. First brother-in-law. And there's, uh, there's current brother-in-law. <laughs> so far. Dylan. Okay. So we just want to say hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. I'm wearing my anti-bullying. Uh, sweatshirt, so that's kind of appropriate. Very woke. Although it does have some chocolate on it. Um, okay, I'll let you go to the signing, but hello everybody! Okay. Um, so, I'm signing things. And if you want any of them, you can go to my... Uh, my website. I've just realised how uh, knackered my brain is. <laughs> Would you like some chocolate? I've already had some chocolate. You can have a little more, it's a Sunday. You didn't I did a bit of fat today. Do you want some chocolate digestive? No, I'm good, thanks, darling. I had a bit of chocolate. 
Uh, but this week was the first week in living memory where I didn't want I know. a cheat meal, yeah. which feels good. Uh, chocolate orange, somebody says. We've got chocolate orange. We haven't got chocolate orange. Have we no. got chocolate orange? No, yeah. Okay, good. We haven't got chocolate orange. Can you do a giveaway? I thought we had chocolate orange. Have we? Not that I know of. Okay, what should I write on this one? Somebody tell me a message to write on that one and I'll write it. Uncle Dylan, have you got any suggestions? Uh, Keep it vaguely, PC. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm working on it. <laughs> Anybody? Chocolate orange? Say, does anyone have any chocolate orange? Do you have any chocolate orange? Hi, butthead love, Rob. Hello, Lauren. Merry Christmas. Love who you are. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that. That's a great one. Love who you are. Love Rob. I did it. Stoke City are the best. <laughs> Write that. No, it shall be right now. I wish you a slightly above average Christmas. Oh, that's good. I wish you and above. You and above. Uh, slightly. <laughs> Above average Christmas. And then cross out slightly and put very. Very, yes. No, no, yes. no. Yes. No, get on the humor bandwagon. Stop, stop worrying about things. No, I'm just saying, if I'm getting something in the mail, I want it to be nice. But it's like, it's, it has, it's got, it's... But I think it's funny to have it cross out when I'll do the same. Nice. Yeah. This... This bit where I'm signing stuff, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the nice bit. <laughs> then they receive a unique version of me yeah. signing. Okay. That is amazing. There you go. And then hopefully somebody with a sense of humour receives it and goes, oh, Rob. Mm-hmm. And then they love me even more. Or they think, what is it? And then they're turned off forever. Yeah. Or. Charlie, worth it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just got to put it on red, you know? Yeah, you have, haven't you? YOLO! Uh, this is a, a new one, Dill. Mm-hmm. Jo- Jomo. Do you know what that is? Joke's on your mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jomo? Joy of missing out. The joy of missing out. And I am part of the Jomo, Jomo Society. There's also uh, Bogo. What? Fear of going out. Oh, I've got that. I've got Fogo. Fear of going out. Oh, I definitely have Fogo. Less and less, though. Um, but I like the idea of Joe more. What are you doing for Christmas? I'm going to be in the UK for Christmas. The fear of missing out, a.k.a. FOMO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jomo we're talking about, the joy of missing out. Um, also... I want to be invited, but I just don't want to go. Mm. So if I don't get the invite, you know, like there's there's things out there that like TV shows and front covers of, that I don't necessarily want to be on or do. But if they don't invite me, I get very upset. You call that the delight of the invite, but not tonight. Is that what, did you just make that up? The delight of the invite. Do you know what Jupiter's delight is? People reading body language. If they're trying to discern whether somebody is telling the truth or not, there's a little thing that the human does when they are telling a lie. Mm -hmm. They will tell a lie and then if they feel as though they're getting away with it, a little smile comes across their face and they don't know they're doing it. Called Jupa's Jupa's Delight. Good to know. Which is uh, the title of my next album. I'll be looking for that smile every time I talk to anyone from now on. Yeah. It's nice to see you. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm signing these. Here's a picture of me all done up. Here's the real version. And um, 
And uh, these are available on RobbieWilliams.com. It's my album. Also, um, mine and Ida's podcast is number two in the podcast chart. So if you want something free <laughs> and entertaining, I think you should call someone and have some chocolate. Call someone and have some chocolate. Yeah. Are you just saying that my energy is low? Is that your way of saying my energy is low? Yeah. I think this is going swimmingly. Wow, do you want to come take over? <laughs> I can't sign. I'm not popular. Do you want to come and talk at them? I'm good. Great Batch Ryan says, um, I've got gorgeous eyes. Thank you. Can you get your album on Amazon Music? Yeah, I bet you can. Should we look right now? I bought it already. You bought it on Amazon? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Nana Gwen bought it on Amazon. Come on, Ada, somebody says. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, you spoke. Come and speak. You want me to speak? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming down the mountain, Mr. Claus. And there's only Make one Robin Williams. Thank you. Put some lotion on. Okay? Yes, it's on Amazon, says Claire Moon 79. Should we call somebody? Yeah, call somebody. Let me just get some of my face. Okay. I'm going to pee. Put some lotion on. Let me sit next to you. Okay. My, um... Album is available at RobbieWilliams.com. Signing loads of these cards. And I'm going to call somebody. Don't say call me, because I won't. So, if you want us to call you, give us a bit of a link. Just bought it. That light's doing my head, isn't it? Mm. I'll get a ladder to try and sort it out. Should have sorted it out during the day, actually. Disco. Crap disco, I mean. Crap disco, yeah. It's a Derby disco. Don't call me. That one's good. I like that. Fancy some banter? No, Hoylands. I don't. <laughs> I fancy zero banter. Do you know Claire Worrell? Yes, I do. Loved your RW Christmas out the other day. Yeah, it's nice, right? Don't call me, just don't do it, says T. Jasmaz Marat. I live in Burslem. I'm kind of call you. Hi. Hi. Okay, all right, all right, okay. <laughs> you okay? You? I'm yeah. okay, thank you. Uh, whereabouts in Burslem are you? I uh, live just off a small form roundabout. Just up there, Isn't just by the small college. small form roundabout a nightmare? It really is. Especially if you've been doing road works at the top where the Starbucks is. Starbucks? Yeah. It used to be Hang a petrol station. Hang on. There's a Starbucks at Small Thorn Roundabout. Yeah. Wow. Is, yeah. Is the Crafty Cockney still there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, how old are you? I'm 23. Oh, you won't remember the Crafty Cockney. The Crafty Cockney was a pub bar thing uh, just on the top of the bank what? on the right coming up from Burslem. And it was where oh. you could go and get a pint if you weren't old enough to get a pint. Oh, fair enough. To be fair, the no. Merlin didn't like that now. So have you... Um, uh, do you know that I'm coming to do a gig in your hometown? I do, and I'm so excited. I've just been saying to my mum that I really want to go. And does your mum want to come? Do you want to come? I would love to. I would love to. Okay, well, I am going to be doing a bit of press up there very soon. I shall be... Uh, very near you. In fact, I would be less than half a mile away from your house. Very soon. Oh my god. So what do you do in Stoke? I'm currently in college at the moment. I'm like going back to college doing performing arts again. Um, performing arts? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've done my level three extended diploma and I'm going on to do HNC. Where where do you do that? Burslem College. Oh, wow. And how long has yeah. Burson College been doing a performing arts thing? 
Oh, years now. Years and years. Wow. So what do you hope to do when you leave? Um, I want to I want to move to London eventually, maybe on the West End, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> and did you, have you done like local amateur operatic stuff? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you ever heard of Carver's Mill. No, what's that? Um, it's like a, like a theatre group, I used to work with them a lot. And what shows have you done? Um, I've done, we've done Annie, um, to be honest, mostly pantomimes and like original shows. And there's not many that are really well known, I suppose. Okay, so why did you go back to college? Um, well, I had to drop out of my first year in HNC because he had a baby. Oh, um, wow. But no, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Um, he's three today, actually. Oh, um, bless him. Yeah. Um, so he had to drop out. So I think now that he's a bit older, I'm going to go back and carry it on. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, um, my wife is here. What's your first name? Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Ali's Hi. In, Ali's in Burslem. Oh, cool. Hometown. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Burslem, right? You've been to Burslem. I've been to Burslem. Do you have a three-year-old boy? Is this not what I was hearing? Yeah, yeah. It's his birthday today. It is. He's three today. Oh, wish him a happy birthday from us. Oh, thank you. Dad's babies are the best. My mom's, well, my mom, she can be stubborn, but she's pretty nice, I have to say. She's a Sagittarius. Oh, my little one's a nightmare. A nightmare. Yeah. I think they have a stubborn streak. I tend to gravitate towards oh, stubborn definitely. people as well. But, uh, oh, <laughs> bless him. Bless him. Three is, I always call three, I think especially with boys, I call it three-nager. Because they, they, they oh, are yeah. like, especially boys. My son didn't go through the terrible tooth, but he went through three-nager. Where he was yeah, like definitely a, a, a terror, a terror. He's over it now, though. So, Ali, where what, where did you go to school? I went to Sandon High School in Mia. Why did you go all that way? <laughs> um, because my grandma used we, to live we... just down the road. I used to look after my grandma before she passed away, and so I used to like go oh, home from lunch and go to hers. Um. <laughs> Have you heard a song of mine called Nan's Song? I have. I have. And I cried. <laughs> I cried. Yeah. Aunt, Aunt Grandma's the best. They really are. She was like the best ever. <laughs> so what, what have you been up to today? Um, not much. Like, um, I've, like, obviously it's been a little boy's birthday, so I've just been spending time with him and making sure that he's distracted from destroying the house. <laughs> and what's, what's, what's the weather been like up there today? It's crap. It's freezing. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. But it's been zero degrees today. Has it been grey skies or blue skies? Grey skies today. Hello? Uh, uh, Hi, sorry. <laughs> there was a moment of blue. No, it was, it was kind of nice. Yeah. It was kind of nice today, but cold. Well, listen, give my regards to the old mother town. Oh, well, we thank oat you. Today, by the way. Oh, I had oat cakes. Had, I had oat cakes tonight. I had oat cakes and the I had, had cheese oat cakes for me, tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that's we had. What we did. Cheese oat cakes, cheese and onion from Highland Oat Cakes. And the kids had. Oh, yeah. Oat Highland oat cakes are so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the best. Well, listen, I love the fact that you're at college learning uh, the skills of um, entertainment. Good for you. Uh, working mommy thank you. Stuff is, working mommy stuff is tough. So yeah. well done yeah. on the working mommy front. Listen, <laughs> thank you. Loads of love. You take care. Give, give my love to Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What a sweetheart. What a sweetheart. So she lives small thorn roundabout. Is that near you? In the chat. Oh, there you go. Can we? Get rid of that. What? You just swipe that up. Uh, Small Thorn Roundabout's got uh, three roundabouts on it, and it's a nightmare. Is it? But you yeah. Even Robbie, you remember Gary Chow from Maggie Woods? No, I don't remember somebody called Gary Chow from Maggie Woods. Ida's looking gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I feel like uh, I've got my hair. I've just now pulled it back again. Thank you. I'm in my PJs, kind of my sweats. Um, feeling very dry. I think that winter thing is happening where everything's really dry. Have you been feeling that? 
dry. What yeah. does that mean? Like dry skin, dry lips. Anyone else having seasonal dryness? Oh, we've got the pictures behind us too. We have these fun pictures, very festive pictures. How's everyone doing out there tonight? It's Sunday. Is everyone feeling kind of that Sunday thing? It's kind of nice to have the weekend off. And then I realize tomorrow's Monday. Do you know what I feel like? What? I feel like I, I've drank too much coffee. Which you have. I feel like I've been like attacking the Haribos. Yeah. To we get, all have, to yeah. To get me through. Well, I also think we've been having very long hours. Like we get in from work at like 2 and 3 a.m. Between travel and job. And I think when you're up late at night, I don't know if I speak for everyone out there, but when you're pulling late night shifts and you're tired, you just tend to, and you know, you tend to eat at like one in the morning and you eat, you know, less healthy food because you just want fuel and comfort. And then you kind of whole systems off. Whereas if you're getting fresh nights of sleep and getting up early, your routine's totally different. But we've just been kind of. Look at me. I know you're looking a bit. Hello, I'm tired. Hello. Um, I just need one more night's sleep. Yeah, you I'll need one good. more night's sleep and you'll be good. I yeah. think the, the golf did you good today. Yeah, it did. Um, How's your day been, Ida Field? Oh, thank you for asking. Uh, it's been really nice because it was, we got to do a whole family day today. It was a day with the kitty cats. We watched some Christmas movies, which was exciting. Has anyone seen the Christmas Chronicles? We watched it last year. And I loved it. And then we watched it again this year. And it was even better this year because it felt like a tradition. Yeah, I like the Christmas that, Chronicles. There's an interesting thing about how tradition, you just have to do it a few times something. All of a sudden, it has a deeper value to you. Like, I enjoyed the Christmas Chronicles last year. But this year, because it felt like tradition, it was like, it was like coming home to something, which I really enjoyed. So we watched that, and we watched some of Arthur Christmas. What is, you know what I would like to know is what are people's favorite Christmas movies out there? What's people's favorite Christmas movies? I'd like to take a poll. Is it Home Alone? I've not seen The Holiday. I think it's Chick Flick, but I want What's to see the holiday? that. Well, it's with Cameron Diaz. Oh, is it got, um, is it for not kids or not? It. No, I think it's an adult situation. Right. Um, but um, favorite Christmas as film. Favorite Christmas as film so much is Polar Express. Yes. I love the Polar Express. We need to watch that with the kids again. Yes, 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 yes. We definitely... That, why is that movie so magic, isn't it? That's Didn't one of the most magic Christmas movies. Polar originally, Christmas. when I saw, started watching you it... You thought it was sad. Well, the, the, the actual animation itself is a bit sort of, like, creepy. Oh, I love it. By the way, 28 Melzi just said, um, Wonderful Life, and I agree with you. And Rob's going to watch It's a Wonderful Life for the very first time this year because they've put it in color because you know el jefe over here would watch it black and white so we're gonna watch it oh bad santa is a great film can't show the kids bad santa no though. that's more for see someone says the holiday is one of my faves and love actually is a great film elf dylan you've got you've, elf is you've good. seen bad santa right yeah I love that. dylan is bad santa jimmy yeah. great is if they did a bad mom that was a bad santa like bad bad mrs moms or something that would be a good film good christmas I'm just giving them an idea for a sequel. Um, yeah, Elf, Elf is really funny. I feel like Elf, our kids are a little too young to get. So they watched it, but they didn't love it. I mean, we were laughing out loud. I think they really they like it now. Do you think they... they, they should we do Elf next? Yeah, what should we do? Should we do Elf next or Polar Express next? Elf. You think Elf? I National think... Lampoon is great. Do you know what? I think I've watched that like a hundred times, and I absolutely love it every time. Somebody said maybe you should make a film on Bad Sharon. Oh, I like that. Bad Sharon's Christmas. Bad Sharon's Christmas. Bad Sharon. I just like, no, no why did you have to throw a nightmare in there? Well, because it's Sharon. Bad Sharon. Can't you just be called Bad Sharon? Can't it be a Christmas called Bad I, Sharon? I'd watch uh, National Lampoons tonight. I'd watch it. Should we watch National Lampoons tonight? Is that what we should do? What should, okay, here's a question for everyone. What should the adults, the kids are in bed, I've already talked to them in bed, what should we watch tonight? To We've got off? lots of I'm a Celebrity to catch up on. Yeah, but I think we need to watch, it's December 1st, we need to watch our first adult Christmas movie tonight. What should we watch? Home Alone. We just watched that the other day with the kids. We need an adult one. Someone said they play Bad Sharon. Laura, Laura Mullen. Laura Mullen's in, in for sure. It's a Wonderful Life to the, tonight. No, no, not ready. That's a closer to Christmas kind of thing, yes. isn't it? Fake taxi. What's fake taxi? Let's, let's just say it's a grown up uh, movie that's. Uh, is there, is there the about Irish Gangster Granny. Gangster Granny. Scrooge. We could episode. watch Love Actually or The Holiday. 
Someone said the Irishman. Gwen and her boyfriend watched that last night. What did, what oh, did, they have to finish it What still. did you think of it? Love it. It's great. They love the Irishman. Watch I'm a Celebrity. It's funny this year. Okay, well, we do the cat. We've got a lot to catch up on there. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Which one is Four Christmases? I don't know Four Christmases. Know. What's four, who's in Four Christmases? I don't know who's in Four Christmases. So if you've just joined us, this is what's happening. Well, let's move this further away because I feel like I'm craning my. Oh, you can't. Oh, I see. It's got a little setup. I'm just going to push this back so I don't have to crane my eyes. Um, I'm signing these. Christmas cards. You should show the front. That's the front. That's the front. It's him in a suit with some trees with snow. Um, <laughs> and you can get them at RobbieWilliams.com. Oh, it's Dudley Moore. Oh, a Dudley Moore film would be good tonight. You can get them at RobbieWilliams.com along with my oh, album. Oh, Vince Vaughn is in Four Christmases. I'm a celeb with so much drum because people keep arguing. Right, right, right. You really but, want... You and want, that's what we want. We want, want conf, calm, flicks, flicks, calm, flicks. 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 Um, um, but uh, you're not really into the Christmas. I, I want to do a Christmas movie tonight. I don't. It's December 1st, darn it. I don't want to do that. There's a bit of Scrooge left in you. Die Hard. That is not a Christmas film. It is. Oh, it, is. it is. How is it a it Christmas film? It is because it's Christmas. Yeah. going out for Christmas. What's the song that yeah, they but play? But it's like murder and death happens. <laughs> I like how all the guys are going to just say, this is, the, this is the difference now. between men and women. I'm like, that's not a Christmas yeah, film. And all the guys are like, yeah, because they're going home for Christmas. I'm like, yeah, but then there's a lot of like explosions but and death. Like film, right? Ida, would you do I'm a Celebrity? I do not believe that would be an appropriate show for me because I do not think I would enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I would not enjoy being... Okay, so what would your least favorite thing be? Would it be uh, jumping out of the plane? Uh -huh. Uh, snakes and bugs, or cold. I feel like hunger would actually be the worst thing. But um, I think the worst thing would be like the pits of snakes. The snakes. I could, I could deal with. I don't want to jump out of a plane. I'm not interested in jumping out of a plane. What if they make you? Well, that's that goes into my part of why I don't think I would be appropriate for the show because I would not do that. But I think I'd rather jump out of a plane than be in a pit of snakes. Can't can't handle a pit of danger noodles. Danger noodles, is that what you just call them? I think I could do... Snakes. Yes, yeah, snakes noodles. are jumping out of the plane would be horrific. Like, I just don't know why I would want to do that. When do you come to Italy, right? Well, I'm going to be in Italy next week, I think. Oh, the week after. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the x Factor. there. Now, here's a question for Italians, because, like, the Germans have these amazing Christmas markets, and I know the Italians do big Christmases. Do you guys have the equivalent of... Is there, like, an Italian... Christmas market is there like a specific Italian thing that people do or like in Scandinavian countries they have they can have live candles on the trees like is there an Italian tradition that we should bring into our lives for Christmas that we don't do already because I'm open I'm culturally open to lots of fun Christmas things yes there is someone said the I can't that name come to Leicester I will cook for you uh, they don't eat creepy crawlers anymore due to animal cruelty. Yes, that is good. I always felt bad when they used to eat, like, live animals. It felt a bit weird. Um, when are you coming to, to Italy? Just answer that. Oh, eat so. pizza. Is that, a, is, that a, is, that, is that a Christmas tradition? When are you in Newcastle? Christmas pizza. Christmas pizza? Yeah. Does it have, what does it have, like, kinder on it? What does it have? Pine cones. Pine cones? Turkey. And mistletoe? Mm -hmm. uh, Budweiser and Coke? What's, right. What says Christmas to you, <laughs> Dylan? What's the most Christmassy thing that what, when you think Christmas? Getting up before noon. Getting up before noon, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a that's a Dylan Christmas spending tradition. Spending quality time with the family. Thanks. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and gotta have some snow. Snow. You never have snow in LA. You're from LA. I'm not usually in LA for Christmas. Yeah, you are. You with us? Yeah, we're usually here. No, we're usually in LA. You've just you've just backpedaled on that one. What says what says Christmas to you, Ida? My family. Yeah. My family getting cozy, watching lots of movies, too much chocolate, Christmas photos. Just yeah, just just lolling about the house and just just being cozy together. And then lots of Christmas music, which thankfully you have provided for us this year. We've been listening to it all day because Ida has been streaming the album. I am streaming the album in the kitchen, everybody. 
feel free to stream as well. Streaming is a good thing. We have learned streaming is a positive thing. So we are streaming in the Williams household today. In fact, I could put the volume up just to prove a point. Should I put the volume up and see what song? Yeah, see what random song is on right now. Should we see if someone can guess what random song is on right now? And if no, 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 no. Okay, just, I'm going to put the song on. on. Let's just put the volume up. Random song from my album coming up now because it's streaming in the background. Technology's not working. Somebody says Rudolph. Rudolph, I love Rudolph. But uh, Rudolph was playing about 40 minutes ago, so I doubt it's Rudolph anymore. Well, I don't know why, Phil, you're our IT guy. Why is this? You turn the volume on with that. IT Dylan. If you're wondering what we're doing, signing these. Oh. I missed it. Spring and summer flew by in an instant. I've always said the wasted times are the minutes I'm not by your side. And I would travel through the night. I will be there. I've told you I'm never too far away. And if you need me, then I'm on my way. Believe me when I tell you that I want to stay. When we're all together now, you are the light that is guiding me back. And I'll be home home for Christmas. Home for Christmas now. Got these 17 vibes. Do you want to turn it down there? Okay. Sleeps. My uh, beautiful assistant, Miss Ida Field. You still hate me calling you Ida Field, don't you? What? You hate you, me calling you Ida Field. Right. Listen, I love hearing Ida Field because that's my, my name that I grew up with. But I just think, oh, why did I go to all that effort to change my last name if you're still going to call me Field? Because, because marriage is very important yeah, to yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> don't touch my hand. No, marriage has made me happy, content, uh, safe, um, fulfilled, given me purpose. So I just, oh, I keep. Oh, I love that. No, I love, uh, listen, I'm a Williams, but I'm also a field, and I'm very proud of my field name. Yeah. So I'm not at all proud of my field. And, and, and Nanny Gwen, who's a field, is proud of her fieldness. And Dylan is proud of his fieldness. Well, my um, my second name's very common, so. Well, so is field. Well, there was a moment when you wanted to change your name to field, but I thought that might not be the best. I don't, I just don't know if, if the fans would have really enjoyed Robbie Field. Yeah, but. Yeah, but I mean, my stage name could have still been Robbie Williams. Yeah, so my. But stage my real name could have been Robert. Well, Field. should I make should I make my stage name Ida Williams, <laughs> and then make my personal name Ida Field, and then you make your stage? No, no, wait, the other way around. No, no, I make my. Oh, now I'm and you and I've confused yeah. myself. I'm feeling like this. This is what I do to Coco, by the way. When Coco's when she's feeling down or she's crying, if I go. She really laughs. That's just what happened inside my brain. Oh, really? And confused myself. Okay, so mom and dad are going to go finish watching The Irishman. Gwen's, okay. Gwen's leaving to watch The Irishman. See you later, with, Gwen. With the BF. See you later, Ian. If that's your real if name. If that really is your name, Ian. Yeah. Yeah. Ian? Ian? We're watching you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, right here. Watch your hands, Ian. Watch your hands. We can hear you. We've got cameras everywhere. That's good. Don't lock the door. Don't lock the door or do anything. Yeah. And Gwen, remember, chastity is a virtue. I have two children. The, like two different men. That you know <laughs> of. Right? 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 Say what? 
Oh, what? Uh, uh, hi, my name is So Common. Says Vince. <laughs> uh, you too, says Carp DM Queen. Literally, that's grab uh, attack the day, is it? What's Carp DM? Carpet, carpet DM, yeah, seize the day. Seize the day, queen. Should we do, I feel like maybe we should do some Christmas trivia and call someone with Christmas trivia. <sighs> Batman or Spider-Man? Batman. Do you know the Jewish Spider-Man? Who? Spiderman. I do, I went to school with him. Yeah? See? Did you enjoy the boy in the dress? I loved the boy in the dress, it was so cool. Oh, it was so good? Yeah. What about if I just did that? No, you look weird. Why are you doing that to yourself? Why do, if, if I just have I just a... think you're just tired. No, a lift. no, don't do that. That looks weird. Uh, what if you did the opposite of a lift? You made yourself look older. You more had, important. You had to pull down. What if you went to the doctor and said, can you pull my face Somebody down? said looks or personality. Personality, 100%. You're both. You're both. You're both. But if I had to choose... Come for the beauty, stay for the personality. Yeah, I like that. Liam, do you have a crush on Liam? Please tell us the truth. A little yeah, bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Susie, yeah. mum of three. She said, I love you. It's very nice yeah. of her. Are you excited for Wembley? Well, people are excited to ask me if I'm excited, I'm excited for, for things Wembley. coming up. I'm excited for Wembley. And I, I, I take one thing at a time. So yeah, he's I'm, not thinking very, he's not thinking very yet. I've got I'm like 15 there. things to do before I get to but Wembley. But I'm like really excited because, you know, I've got friends coming and whatnot, and I, I have to say I'm getting very excited for the uh, the Wembley shows. I went to see the boy in the dress the night before the opening, and met Guy. Guy Chambert. Guy Chambert, Guy Chambert. What is Father Christmas bringing you this year? Boy, boy in the dress was amazing, by the way. It's good, right? Dylan saw Boy in the Dress. So good. It's really good. I have to say, the music. You, you blew my mind. I knew it was going to be good. So. I heard you. I heard you doing it in the house. But when I saw the production, I was just blown away. Alan says, "Is Happy Birthday, Jesus Christ, going to be on the Wembley set list? If I have anything to do with it, which I should, because it's my gig. Yes. Yeah, it should be right, Al. Uh, what's your favorite song off the album so far, folks? Let us know, and maybe I'll give you a call." What's your favorite song of the Christmas album so far? Let us know. Maybe me and the wife. Wow, well, kids said their trip. daughter says The Boy in the Dress was the favorite show she's ever seen. Oh, wow. You know that moment, that disco symphony moment might be the coolest moment in a musical of all time. There. Time for change. Let's right, let's call Lisa, because I agree with Lisa. Okay, let's call Lisa. Can you turn that off, my boo? The assistant will Dill? turn it down. Dill, can you turn oh, it off? Oh, Dylan's going to turn it down. New assistant. New All assistant. Right. Did I lose New did assistant. I, did I lose my phone? Hi, darling. Hi. Oh, my God. Have we spoke to you before? Hi. No, never. So, How are you? So it's Lisa, right? Yeah. Lovely to meet you, Lisa. Where, where oh. are you right now? She's a scouser. <laughs> I'm on the Wirral. Oh, so she's a woolly back. What's a woolly back? <laughs> no. Well, to explain to Ida what a woolly back is. She likes Sam. <laughs> a Welshman. A, 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 a Welshman? Yeah, that's what we call them. <laughs> okay, but what do people from Liverpool call woolly backs? I'm not from Liverpool, I'm from the other side of the water. Would if somebody that was in the centre of town knew that you were from the Wirral, would they call you a woolly back? No. Oh, okay, cool. So does that mean you're wrong? With oh, are you sure? Uh, yeah, they call us plastic scousers. Plastic what? scousers. That doesn't sound like a very nice name. <laughs> no. Plastic scousers? Yeah, they get, they get very tribal. So wait, so, okay, so you'd be, you'd be in the city centre to be a scouser, and then other than that, you're a plastic scouser? Yeah. It's like that seems not fair. It's like so no, not, no, no, no. Listen, it's it's it like it's like you having a problem with people from the Palisades. Kind <laughs> 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 of like plastic Beverly Hills. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, plastic uh, Beverly Hills. So, mm -hmm. so tell us more about yourself. Your kids in the background. My daughter. How old is uh, your daughter? She's nine. Can we? What's her name? Is she there? Hello. Hello. Her name's Layla. Oh, that's a pretty name. Layla's a very pretty name. 
There was Layla getting very excited for Christmas because I knew in the Williams household today, December 1st is a big day. The elves I want to eat all the chocolates. <laughs> she wants to eat all and I've been calling the chocolates. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. What was the first chocolate today? Was it just a milk chocolate? Was it a coin? What happened? Uh, it, was a it was a reindeer out of a Thornton's one. Oh. A Thornton's? Oh, I like a Thornton's. Get you your posh. <laughs> like, so I wonder what Thornton's do for the rest of the year. Because, like, Thornton's really only ever appeared in our house at Christmas. Is that the same thing for you? Yeah. A reindeer one sounds quite yummy. What's your favourite chocolate? Lindor. Mm. Lindor. Oh, I love Lindor. <laughs> and what's your daughter's favourite chocolate? What's yours, love? Um, I prefer, like, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Wow. That's very it's sophisticated. More, it's more healthy, she said. That is correct, Layla. That is the right answer. Even but I, but even though I eat all the crisps in the house sometimes. All the crisps. Yeah, yeah that's good that she likes the dark chocolate. Okay, you what's your ahead. what's your favorite uh, flavor crisp? Um, prawn cocktail. Oh, oh I had three packs of prawn cocktail crisps last night. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. You know what's not nice about prawn cocktail I crisps? Say Fingers I love. and breath. The breath. Yeah. Oh, good. God. <laughs> oh, what's the kitty cat's name? Jet. Hi, Jet. Oh. Named after the gladiator? No, after uh, Jet Li. Oh, the uh, kung fu guy. Yeah. So, uh, oh, look how cute Jet is. Are you, are you a red or a blue? I'm a Man United fan. <laughs> wow, you're the most plastic of scouts ever. <laughs> So, how come you're a Man United fan? I just follow my dad. And your dad's a Man U fan? Yeah. So, did you have a schoolgirl crush on any Man United players? David Beckham. Well, oh, that's wow. a good choice. Yeah, <laughs> that's an absolute given. So, what did you get up to today? Uh, I put up my new telly that I bought. My that screen? Uh, 55 inch screen. Well done, Thornton's and a flat screen. Look at you. While blasting out the album through Alexa. Yay! <laughs> Thank also, you. Did you, did you see the Alexa ad that Rob did? Uh, I don't know. I can't. If you go on to my Instagram, I don't know if it's on your Instagram, if you go on to my Instagram a couple of days ago, I put up Rob's Alexa ad for Amazon. It's very funny. So uh, oh, also, cool. have a listen to our podcast because that's good too. Mm. It's number two in the podcast chart. Yes. It's like podcast <laughs> muscles right now. We had a good time. Mm. That. that was our first. So what are you up to tomorrow? Um, Cyber Monday shopping for more Christmas presents. Wow. Has Layla put in her request? Has she written a letter to Santa? Do we need uh, she wants a at? PlayStation 4. Oh, so nice. do I. Um, she wants uh, How to Train Your Dragon Hatchimal. Oh, yeah, the Hatchimal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that movie. They make um, a llama now, too. Like, have you seen, I've seen ads for the Hatchimal, the really big one. Have you seen the ads? No. Nah. It's a big it's Hatchimal. Uh, it Layla, are you into LOL dolls, or is that not big over here? No, a sister does. Her sister, how old is her sister? A sister's 11. Right. right. That seems to be a big craze. There's the Poopsie doll line and the LOL doll. Yeah. Last night, me and my mum were talking about what that would be like with a machete and a shotgun. <laughs> what was that? Uh, we were just having a laugh. She plays on uh, Gacha on the PC. Yeah. And she was saying, I wonder what Jeff the cat would look like with a machete on his back running around. You know what? We've all wondered that. We've all wondered. We've all wondered. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh, this one's going to school. No, I'm not. Ah, yes, ah, ah. Look, I've been to school. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I uh, just had the same feeling going to bed tonight. They did not want to go to school anymore. Um, no, she does. She doesn't want to go to bed, but she doesn't sleep properly because she has autism. Oh, oh, I see. So how well, does that manifest itself? Sleep. It's hard. Mom. Um, she didn't start talking until she was five. Uh, she didn't start using the toilet until she was five, and she's got real anger issues. Oh, oh, bless, bless you, you and bless, bless you, her. Bless you, so, Layla. Layla, are you enjoying school or not? Um, 
It depends on how I'm feeling. Like, if I'm sick, then I don't really enjoy it that much. Yeah. But, like, if I'm well, um, I just enjoy it. And I just don't feel bad. Yeah, well, yeah that's, that's good. good. It's nice that you can recognize the, the difference in feeling, too, to yourself. Mm. That it can be a positive thing. So what are you doing tomorrow, Mum? Listening to our podcast? Yeah. I'm okay. putting the album back on while I finish decorating and do you have the tree up now is the tree fully up no i've got to get the tree out the loft tomorrow <laughs> no no we, we need to get the tree too i, I kind of felt disappointed in myself when i saw all the like all the houses around started to put mm. the lights up into the thing and i thought oh we're behind we gotta do that mm. we've been so busy we haven't done it but it doesn't feel like christmas till the tree's up does it no i mean well, did you get this we came to we were at manchester for Hits radio. I took the oh. girls to see it uh, for the first time. It hits radio. It's nice, right? Yeah, they loved it. Oh bless! What, what a good, what a good laugh that was. You're such a good mommy, by the way, Lisa. Yeah, you're, you're such a good, good mommy. Mommy. Oh, they've been, they've been to see the boys as well twice. Take that. Yes. Oh, that's cool. And did they love that too? Yes, they did. Oh. But they're asking me for um, stroke tickets. Well, I'm going to be down the road. I know. Just around the corner. Just around the corner. I'm coming home. Mm. That's right. But I'll, I'll, I'll be in Wembley in two weeks. Oh, bless you. I'll be there, oh, Lisa. Bless. I'll be I'll be chanting and cheering with you. Well, there's there's four of us going. One's going dressed as Mrs. Claus, and the other three of us are going dressed as elves. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to look out for Mrs. Claus and three elves. Yeah. Hopefully there's not a lot of Mrs. Clauses and three elves. I like you're taking the opportunity seriously to come to a Christmas gig and dress up. That's you really know what? Cool. You've just given me that idea. Maybe I will go festive as well. Because <laughs> I wore pajamas to the Under the Radar gig. I went to that one as well. Right? Did you wear pajamas? Oh, come here. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Mwah. Oh. Oh. Well, I, I must admit, when I go to Wembley, it's five times this year that I've seen you. Wow. Oh, wow. I love you a bit, you know. <laughs> I, went to, I went to your last night in Vegas. Wow. Did you? You were the last night in Vegas? Yeah. We've, we've, we've rocked it out together on yeah. two continents, Lisa. We, you, yeah. you should get air miles and stuff. <laughs> you, should have, like, Kate, you should have, like, Robbie Williams frequent mm. flyer miles or something. Yeah, yeah they really you should. should. Do that. We I went. Should. We should do that. Okay, we've just we've just started a new idea, Lisa. So we're gonna have, we're gonna we're gonna put that into effect because of you. Okay. Miles. I think we should have that. We should yeah. definitely have yeah. that. And I then I think that's a fantastic idea, like a loyalty card. Yeah. 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 I, I went. So. Well, I went to Vegas for four nights. Then I, then I did LA for three nights. And on the I got the flight home on the Friday. Oh, landed back it? in. No, I oh. landed back in Manchester okay. on the Saturday. My sister picked me up. I went home, got the car, drove to London, saw you in Hyde Park, came home. Oh, bless you. <laughs> My God. Lisa, I was exhausted. I don't know how you yeah. did that, because I was exhausted doing that. Yeah. And, and uh, wow, well done. And I, 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 I love you. <laughs> okay, it's getting weird now. No shit. <laughs> yeah. Forget it's, about Forget it's about something her. to show you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's so cool. There's... Oh, bless. I haven't even opened it. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, darling. Well, listen, I'm We're glad... Do the frequent I'm house. glad that you uh, find some joy in what I do. That makes me feel really, really good. Well, can I just say something? Because oh. I've been waiting for a very long time, and I haven't had a chance to get a meet and greet to tell you. But... When I was nine, I lost my brother from a bad accidents, which was in 1990. And I hit depression. I was only uh, nine and a half when it happened. I'm sorry. And then, and then you boys came out. And then that was it then. You, the music just just helped me through a lot, a lot of things. So. Well, oh, may, may, may I take this I opportunity to apologise for uh, leaving Take That in 1995? Do you, know, do, you, do you know what, to be honest, I knew you'd come back and I actually went to your first tour in Liverpool in the Royal Court Theatre. I remember that. Yeah, that was a good place. <laughs> yeah, Robbie Fowler came. Mm. I remember. 
Well, I'm glad that you, you've you've grown up with me then, and I've grown up with I you. I have, yeah. Bless you, Lisa. That's really powerful, Lisa, what you've just said. And, um, you know, you, I sort of do these shows, and then I move on to the next thing, move on to the next thing, and I've always got this carrot in front of me just going towards mm. the next thing. And then I get reminded by people like your good self of the stories that happen around my music and our music mm. would take that. And it's, um, you know, there's, <laughs> these things that are happening outside of us are really, really powerful. Mm -hmm. And it's only moments like these that you, you get to find that out. So mm -hmm. it means a great deal to me. And yeah. it also means a great de deal to the boys too. So yeah. thank you, Lisa. I just got really emotional with your story, Lisa. <laughs> I've just heard it to with oh, <laughs> But every time, like, every time there's something bad that happens, it's always, I put, the, I put your music, Gary's, Mark's, the band's, and I'll just put it on and I'll sit there and I'll start smiling then. Because I'm like, they're, they're my boys. <laughs> that's, how, that's how we all say it. You're, you're our boys. And we are, babe. We are. Mm. Listen, I love yeah. you. <laughs> and you thank say, you. A pleasure. I've got a really, <laughs> really emotional. Yeah. And can I ask, can you put this on Instagram so I can share my other daughter when she comes home? Yes. A hundred percent. I will yeah. make sure he does that. 100%. Oh, and Ida, we've uh, we've set up at Ida Field Williams Appreciation page oh. on Facebook. Oh, bless you. Oh, Lisa, you're literally like the best person ever. So That's me, so sweet. That's me so and Sarah sweet. Page are in charge of it. I know you know Sarah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, God bless you. That's so kind of you. And and yeah. and and let us tell you how much we appreciate you as yeah. a fan. Because you know it's like when just like Rob said, just hearing these stories, it just is a really remarkable and blessed journey to be connected in this way. And when I go to these gigs, I feel connected to every single fan mm. in the room. And I just getting this time to talk with you and hear your story and feel your love is a really nice thing. So thank you. Okay. All right, Lisa. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. All right, and I'll kids. see you Merry soon. Christmas, Layla. Layla. Okay, bye -bye. Merry Christmas. Okay, bye. see you soon, Lisa. Bye. 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 Wow, how cool oh, is that? I, she's amazing. I just teared right up, babe. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It if, is like if it's... anybody's seen the uh, the band, the Take That musical, at least it's like the original yeah. uh, member of that cast. Yeah. That was you know. I always feel like a broken record when we say it, but it's just those conversations. That's why social media is good. That's the good bit about social That's media. That's the good bit about social media. It's getting to communicate and connect with people that you wouldn't get to connect with. And just and just knowing people's journeys with you, because it is remarkable that you've been doing this for 30 years and to think that there is a, you know, there's a whole tapestry. There's a whole story where you... And all these people have woven together with all your stories and your highs and lows. And it's just so nice to, yeah, to get to talk to someone like Lisa and hear her story and her journey with you. I feel very privileged to be a part of that. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. And thank you, Boo. Oh, yeah, give us a kiss. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing this, I'm signing these. Because people might have just joined and think, what's he doing down there? Yeah. Well, that's what I look like when I've got makeup on. And a little bit of airbrushing. And a little yes. bit of airbrushing. And um, someone said, bisou, bisou, Anel. And I'm doing this. I'm signing these uh, because on RobbieWilliams.com you can go and get my album signed with the Someone's Christmas asking card. me if you're going to sing Darkest Night on December 16th. Probably not. That probably won't make it. But I'm glad that you like it. If you're going to see a band play, who would you go see and why? Nobody. Because I don't like gigs. <laughs> I don't like being in the audience anyway. I'm not that well, bothered. You just get crowd phobic and yeah. traffic phobic. I um, get traffic phobic, crowd phobic. Your fourth son's middle name is Robert after you. Both looking pretty lovely without the airbrushing. Says happy. Thank you. Happy, happy, happy darling. Better looking couple than. Oh, well, bless you. Can oh, bless you. Can you, say, bless you. Bless can you say hello to Jude and Harper, please? Hi, okay. Jude and Harper. There, that was easy. So, um, that was very sweet. That wasn't was it, very sweet. That was it was very touching. Oh, someone says hello to your Amy Bell. So there's hello to your old Amy Bell. Um, someone wants you to sing us. So who doesn't like Christmas? Should we call Louise Mergen? Yeah, and if you don't want to answer, we totally understand Louise Mergen. Yeah. There's no no judgment for not liking Christmas, but it's good to always get the other side of the coin, isn't it? Usually there's a reason too that someone doesn't like Christmas. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. Oh my Hi. god, I'm speaking to you again. Have you spoken to us before? Yeah, like about. Hang on, let me. Will you save this on your Instagrams? Because last time I didn't get it, and I was telling my friends I spoke to you, and they didn't believe me, and then I sounded like the biggest idiot in the world. I was like, I've just spoken to Robbie Williams, okay. and they didn't believe me. So remind us. I need to go what's in the your name? Where are you? Ugh. Okay, so my name. I need to go in the light so you can see me. Okay. Ugh, that's better. My name is Louise. Hi, yeah. Louise. And I live in the Lake District in Cumbria. Oh, oh yeah. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful places in England. I keep hearing this, but I've never been. I put my hood up because I've got a bit of messy hair. I've just come back from the gym, so I'm a bit... Oh, well oh, done. good for you. What did you do at the gym? <laughs> I trained um, back and biceps, so... And what are you yeah. training for? Anything in particular? No, nothing in particular. I just really enjoy weightlifting. Like, it's just my thing. Like, most girls you see on the treadmill for hours, and I'm there with, like like squats and deadlifts. <laughs> but, I love weightlifting. I think it's yeah, very, very cool. cool. So do you, are you going to do like legs tomorrow or the day after and then like tries and <laughs> shoulders? Like do you split it up like that? Um, I trained legs on Saturday night really late. Like, cause Ooh. I like it when the gym's empty. It's like the best feeling in the world. So I trained legs Saturday night. I trained arms like back and biceps tonight and then i'll probably have like a rest day tomorrow because i feel a bit achy now so i bet your legs so, are feeling so how, extra special how long have you been weightlifting probably like ever since i was 16 so quite wow. a few years like basically the story behind it is quite a strange one but i'll tell you so when i was younger um I kind of had an eating disorder, like I had um, something called orthorexia. So what that meant is that I would only like eat foods that I labeled healthy. So like anything that was chocolate or crisps or whatever, I just had like a fear of, like a fear of food. And um, it only hit me really when I was about six and a half stone and <gasps> I looked That's awful. So and. Like, my whole family were worried about me, and I didn't see the issue with it. And, yeah, like, I got told by the doctors that if I didn't put weight on, then I was going to end up seriously ill in hospital because I just couldn't, like, focus. So instead of... Because I was doing quite a lot of exercise as well, so because I didn't want to give that up because you get that endorphins and that great feeling from it, and, you, you know, that's what I was striving to do all the time, I thought I'd change my whole sort of outlook on it and I thought right I want to get strong I want to be like healthy and strong and from that I started weightlifting and I found that obviously it shaped me a lot better and I felt like I was eating a lot more to fuel myself and yeah it turned it changed my life it really did like I, I couldn't go back to just running and doing endless amounts of cardio like so what, was, what should to... hold on what should diet like now um well i just i'm a lot more flexible like i haven't really i'm really healthy still like i love healthy food don't get me wrong like i've been brought up to eat vegetables and fruit but like i have now and then like the cheeky like burger or pizza or something like it doesn't bother me anymore but like that fear that i used to have it's so strange that i think back and i'm like why was i scared of eating that like why what, what was it that scared me but I don't know, like now I feel fine with food. My relationship with food is amazing and the gym and like, yeah, like Christmas is coming up, everyone's gonna eat crap. It's just what happens, so. It's amazing, like honestly, that's an amazing ability to turn that around because I definitely know lots of people that struggle with that and yeah. they're not able to change their approach to so, food. And what? that's, I mean, that's like, that's a big What's shift. your job? My job, um, I'm a technical process engineer for Siemens. So I work for, um, I don't know if you've heard of Siemens. They're like S -I -E, a big international. S-I-E-M-A-N-S, that one? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm an engineer. That's